What is up guys, Poppin' tonight here. Um, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to get one of the legendary weapons in-game, which is the Excalibur. So you'd be able to get the uh, this weapon even early on in the game, as this is the only legendary weapon which is not tied to the storyline, like the Gongnir and Mjolnir. So basically, you'll need to gather 11 tablets in total, or the treasures of Britain, to be able to unlock Excalibur. These tablets are located in caves and labyrinths scattered throughout England, except for the three other pieces which is in the hands of high-level zealots. I'll be sure to add in a timeline for you guys to be able to just skip through it um, if you've already collected some of the pieces of the tablet, and let's get to it. So first location would be in Grimesgrave, which is just east of Ravensthorpe, located in East Anglia. This is near the shore below the Slayer Farm. Once you're in this location, just head down the shaft and keep moving through the parkour gauntlet until you arrive at a table right at the back of this cave. Aver will then mention the treasure once you're in this location, which is easily missed, um, but just hit the pot on the table to find the first tablet. So the next location is in Essex, um, this is just south of Colchester. Um, once you get through here, do be careful as this cave is full of poisons. So just keep moving through it until you reach the end which is relatively easy to do so. And once you enter a wine cellar, you would then be able to use your arrows to shoot the barrels to fill the central grate um, with wine to retrieve the tablet. So next up is further north, just west of Jorvik, where you'll find Wiccan's Cave in Irvikshire. Um, just follow the cave through until you have to slide under an opening to reach a small den. This is actually easily missed, however, to your right would be a giant blue wall which you would just have to shoot down to be able to enter. Once you're inside, just go right and shoot through the grate to blow up the barrel then head left and shoot the lock on the front door. Once you enter, you should be able to get the third tablet. Next up is located in the Rabbi Spark Cavern, which is located further north from Ravensthorpe. And this is just northeast of Hemthorpe. So basically, this is the northernmost part of England itself. So once you're inside the cave, just move over or at least clamber over the statues to move through the tunnel, which is relatively easy to do so. And at the end of it would lay the fourth tablet. The fifth tablet is located in Wosig, uh, which is located in Hamptonshire. Um, this is just northwest from Winchester. So once you get in the cave, just look up for white ridges on the walls for you to be able to climb onto and you'd be able to make your way to the other side. Once you're in the back room, there will be oil jars scattered around. Do make sure to stand further when you hit them as I've had the mistake in hitting them melee or just hitting them um, right off the bat, uh, which turned me into a human torch. However, once the flames are extinguished, just head over to the room, uh, which would contain the fifth tablet. Next up is due east of Scent and Canterbury, um, where you'd be able to find the Cavern of Trials. Um, this area is in an underground labyrinth where you would have to leap from rock to rock looking for keys um, so that you would be able to unlock the way forward. Um, just use your parkour skills to move through the cave to get to the treasures and at the end of it all would lie the, le the next tablet. So next up is actually east of Winchester, uh, which you'll be able to find the Red Licken Cavern, uh, which is relatively fast and easy to go through. You will just need to use your torch to take care of the poison mist, and you should be able to get to the end of it, uh, wherein just throw in your torch to remove the poison, and you should be able to get the next tablet. So the last tablet that you would be able to find is actually in a cave or a cavern located in Satsex, which is southwest of Sen, or just further south of Ravensdorf. Um, this cave is pretty straightforward where you would have to keep moving through the mine shaft and using the oil barrels to open up the block path. At the end of the mine, you would then need to dive to swim through the rest of the way, which is a relatively really long swim, 
but at the end of it would lay the next tablet or at least the final tablet that is located in caves all right so we've collected all eight tablets um which is located in any of the caves or labyrinths throughout england the remaining three tablets are actually held by three zealots um if you are doing this early on in the game then i would recommend using the god mode exploit um if you have yet to discover how to enable this do check my other video which i'll be pinning down in the comment section for you guys so yeah uh, the first zilla would actually be located in essex but basically you would be able to find them roaming around the main roads but i was able to locate them on the map just by synchronizing at high points locations um, throughout the area um, once they are visible on your map just mark them over and head over to their location so the first zealot is named hikey or hike uh, which is one of the most annoying zealots that you'd find hard to deal with even though you would be on the god mode since most of your attacks would then be blocked or parried uh, due to them having a shield even though they're not using the shield it would automatically block or parry your attacks so i would recommend using a bow for this fight just aim for his weakness or weak points and do a stun attack do this three to four times and he would eventually fall and you would be rewarded the next tablet so next zealot is found in scent and he is named Woden. just as i mentioned earlier you'd be able to find them by either synchronizing at any high points in scent or following the main roads till you spot them basically this is an easier fight compared to hike but yeah uh, i would definitely recommend using your bow to target the weak points as well and you should be able to take them down with ease or if you prefer to melee them to death you can definitely do so after killing you would then be getting the next piece or the next tablet last but not the least is the zealot named rotgar who is actually found in sudsex i've noticed that there are others who were having issues in locating rotgar since he would mostly be stuck somewhere however once you had just east of crawley uh, over here then you would then stumble upon umbert river he would usually just be around this area over here so same tactic melee or hit his weak points to do a stun attack until he falls and voila you have retrieved all 11 pieces of the tablets or treasures of britain and now we are off to retrieve our hard-earned weapon now we are off to hamptonshire to head over to Mirden's cave this is just northeast of Stonehenge and Winchester and once you enter the cave you would need to parkour or just keep platforming until you reach a huge pool of water. Dive down and look for a doorway on the left then swim through to reach an enormous cave. Just push forward and you'll be able to find Arthur Pendragon's camp. So once you're here just place all 11 tablets that we have acquired on the empty slots. Once secure, you would then be able to pull the Excalibur from the stone-ish kind of thing. So this should definitely be the sword under the Stonehenge and not sword in the stone. Congratulations, and now you have the Sword of Legends Excalibur. Excalibur does have a pretty decent damage, um, albeit it having a slower attack speed. I like how the sound effect is actually um, when shooting the weapon, as well as when you're doing a heavy attack. I hope this video helped you guys out and if it did please do leave a like down below as this would surely help the channel out let me know in the comments if you are having any issues with finding any of the tablets and i'll be more than glad to help you guys out do subscribe to the channel for more assassin's creed valhalla content and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now